Hello and welcome to um, a bit of an odd video. Uh, so I have a camera here. This is a 1920s brownie camera. Uh, I picked this up um, for about I don't know. I think it was something ridiculous, like 50p at a boot fair, and it sat on my shelf for almost three years before I decided to use it. <clears throat> now the first lot of photos I took with it were um, poor. Um, lighting being one factor, as this is a very old camera, um, everything's pretty much manual. Use about 120 mil film. Um, whether or not I'll scan these in, but I went recently on holiday to Devon and I took a couple of photos in the sun. Now, I don't know if you can see, especially in this photo, there's uh, uh, an item of, um, well, of, of light here. And that's quite concurrent through the um, through the thing, which is most likely coming from the bottom part here, and it's leaking onto the film. Now it's not as severe. Um, there's quite a few photos that were ruined that day because of that, but that doesn't matter because the idea was I took it out and um, gave it a go and made sure that it was working at least. Uh, and that it is. Uh, it is working, however it's not working at the best of its ability. So I decided to go out and buy um, some foam. Um, this is quite thin compared to what I thought I was going to get. Um, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the back here like so. And I'm going to essentially put as m as much, um, not as much sealant in it, but attempt to kind of repair the camera in the best way that I can while um, allowing uh, movement of the film, which relies on these rollers here. I'll take this out and show you. Because um, the actual film... Um, mechanism, the way the film is rolled out through the camera, is very different. So essentially you have the take-up spool here, and I don't know if you can see this very well, I've got my back to the camera. Um, this part is made of metal and wood, this is made of cardboard, that's a hundred year old cardboard. So you'd sit your film in here, uh, and then you'd wrap it round this box like so and the idea is that these bits at the back push the film so these bits here push the film against the metal and thus you don't have any issues with light leak or supposedly now over the years um, I mean this is rusted a little bit but the structure is still the same the rollers still move and um, there's nothing mechanically wrong with this camera the issue is as I've said the fact that it's not the cardboard isn't holding I mean this is loose when you actually put it down there's gaps here now I could just go with black tape and just go around the camera each time I open it up but that would probably ruin the leatherette so I'm going to see if I can attempt to repair it um, and this is going to be sort of a mini video on how I do that um, yeah so I'm not really um, looking to make a tutorial or anything like that. It's really just for my own personal um, use. So I can sort of get a little bit more out of this camera before it eventually decides to bite the dust. I think what I'm going to be uh, attempting to work on today is um, the back here and see if I can get it to sit and lock firmly with the film with the um, light leak, st uh, the light foam, sorry, um, sort of together. Now one of my main issues is going to be the fact that this bit has expanded, therefore it's going to be a bit difficult. Um, as you can see actually this is starting to rip, um, so there is probably going to be a time, hopefully not in the future, where I'm going to have to do more than just um, putting light leak, uh, anti-light leak foam in there. But anyway, I'm going to cut the video here and um, just finished 
or attempted, or I say attempted, just finished the, um, well, the hopeful repairs. So the way that I've done it is this. So I don't know if you can see. I'll lift this up gently. So around the edges, specifically here, um, not here, uh, but here and around, I've covered in some uh, in in the light foam. Um, essentially, I'm hoping that this will. Um, allow less light in, hopefully no light, but I I think I'm over um, zealous when it comes to saying that, that this is going to let no light in. Um, if you're wondering what this window is at the back here, um, this is actually um, a special window that allows you to see what um, roll of film you're on. So on the actual film it will tell you um, what number roll you're on. Um, but yeah, I mean this is as much as I think I can get it repaired without um, damaging the camera or preventing this from shutting because the way this shuts and locks is that these grooves sit inside here uh, if I show you if I close this it closes a little bit nicer now as well you can see slight bowing so here this should really be sitting down inside the camera but because the cardboard and the cloth that have been keeping this together for almost a hundred years has started to degrade, it, did, it didn't sit that way anyway. So essentially what I'm trying to do is prevent light, is allow it to stay in that form so that it's you know slightly raised up but there's less light coming in. I think what I'm going to have to do when shooting this camera in the future is to hold it right to my chest so that it's actually like that um, but I mean look at the damage on the front this thing is old um, I can't give you an exact date I'm assuming it you know, I say assume I've done some research and it's around about 19 the 1920s was when this particular model of brownie was produced this one was made in Canada um, there were different types there was a plastic body one that came later around the 30s and 40s um, I wouldn't say plastic, it was probably more metal, um, and in the 50s and so on and so forth. There were better models, models that probably you'll find on eBay for cheaper than this because they're in such good condition still because they were made out of plastic and metal. This, unfortunately, is made out of cardboard that is wrapped in leatherette. I mean, this literally came in a box. You'd buy it from, most likely from a sweet shop or um, a convenience store or any general goods store for cheap or the equivalent of cheap um, you are quite lucky with this one because this still this takes 120 mil film uh, which is still being manufactured um, best roller film I've used in this so far the film that you saw uh, was Ilford um, some brownie cameras used I think it was 127 um, I have a um, a camera that uses 127 and to get film for that and to get it developed is it's expensive so this is still um, a viable camera for if, if you're an enthusiast um, I use 35mm film that's still being produced and still being developed for um, but this I take um, or I want to take on special occasions um, the idea of a camera that is much older than the location I'm shooting at sort of thing. So hopefully this repair um, does it. Uh, I'm shooting this hopefully this coming Sunday at an airfield um, so hopefully I will be able to um, show you some footage uh, or so show you some film um, of that um, when it's been developed because I reckon it will probably take around a week after that to develop. Uh, depends on when I get around to sending it out. It might be the last time I shoot this camera, we don't know. Um, but I'm definitely going to put it up on display, I think. Uh, get a nice little glass cabinet. Put it in there with the other 127 camera. Um, and maybe ha hang up a couple of photos it's taken. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's been short, and I know I sort of gave up on the Bismarck videos. Um, that's simply because it, the time frame and the filming, it was just a logistical nightmare. 
Um, I might link to a channel that I do watch called World of Wayne. Uh, he definitely um, has the Bismarck and other magazine models down to a T. Um, however, I think if the way this channel's going, I think it's just going to be a random channel, um, sort of incompatible content, if you will. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, I will attempt to keep you updated on this camera. Uh, I might do an in-depth video of this camera um, about its features um, and the history behind it. Uh, but that all depends on whether um, I have any photos to go along with it because those ones I had were not particularly great. Um, but thanks for watching guys and um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.